Well, It's a Wonderful Life hit the big screen in 1946 and has since been adapted to many forms. Walker Bay Theater is performing the holiday classic in a form true to the time period as a Lux radio performance. Mal Meyer has more for this week's In Focus from Walker. The story starts with George Bailey headed towards the brink of suicide and Clarence Angel needs to intervene. By showing George what life would be like had he never been born is a powerful realization. Those little things or little acts of kindness that we can do for people in our everyday lives, those can be awfully big and important also. The seven cast members lend their voices to the many people George changes through his actions. I have a list that I try to follow, when to go gravel, when to go high, when to go Swedish, when to go Italian. The actors have to make sure their character changes, emotions and tones are noticeable through speech, unlike visual performances. I worked with a uh, plays, so it was all about face and moving around, and this is radio, so it just matters about what your voice is. Making the show sound like it's still being acted out are simple sound effects, like a door slamming, which have to be perfectly timed out. Because you got to be ready like five seconds before it's ready, because otherwise you slow everyone else up and everyone gets confused. For Kathy Dale, it's been a lot of fun to be part of the production. It's really neat to kind of show what it used to be like back when my parents were kids and they were listening to the radio instead of watching television. Which is why the Walker Bay Theater has previously put on similar productions. Audiences seem to like these vintage radio shows. The company will have three more performances with ones on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. For this week's In Focus in Walker, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.